Hey, what's up everybody? Name is Darge Fang, and today I'm bringing you another Ubuntu tutorial, and this will be on Thunderbird. What Thunderbird is, it's pretty much an information manager, much like Microsoft Outlook, only Thunderbird is a lot more common on Linux operating systems, and it mainly becomes pre-installed. Like, um, I'm using Ubuntu now, and Thunderbird was already here. I did not have to go into Software Center and install it, so let's get started. If it's not on this bar over here, you can go to Dash Home, type in Thunderbird, and you should see this icon right here. You want to click on that icon, and here's the first screen you'll see. First thing you want to do to uh, connect your email address to Thunderbird, create a new account, use your existing email. You can name it whatever you want, so I'll just say my mail, and so you can type in your email address, which I'll use this one. You could you could have it rem remember your password. For convenience sake, I'll just leave that on. Press continue. And with these two options, um, POP3, which is the one on the right, some services, when you connect to them using POP3, what, the, what will happen is the email that's stored on that server will be downloaded to your computer and then deleted on the server. Now, this probably has some good perks to it, but say if you're a casual user like me, uh, I, I just, I don't know, I, I just personally don't see a point for it. I'm just going to use IMAP. What IMAP does is pretty much the opposite of POP3. Your mail will be stored on the on your services um, servers. So I'll just click on that, which I already clicked by default. Click Done. It, it will check the password that you entered. And it should be right. It just might take a little bit to uh, verify it. Alright, it'll take a long time to verify it. Jeez. Alright, well, well, that's doing its own thing. I'll actually show you some of the add-ons. Oh, there we go. Alright, as you can see, um, my uh, email address is under the local folders, and while the rest of this is loading, I'll actually show you some of the add-ons that are available for Thunderbird. So what you want to do is go on Tools, and then go down to Add-ons, want to click on that and as you can see they have a bunch of add-ons stuff from like you could do have extra options with the folders that are included under your email address um they also have like an inbuilt uh, web browser called thunder browser um they also have even like extra smiley faces i mean if you're writing a business email or a professional one you I mean you can't go wrong with smiley faces so to look at them all you could click on where is it? Browse all add-ons, just down here. And as you can see, there's a lot of different ones. Um, stuff like you can have different um, language support, such as Spanish, um, whatever you want, really. Um, contact uh, um, options, uh, miscellaneous reading, just all these different options. I'm not really going to go into them because I'll probably be here a while. So, just want to X out of that. You can have different extensions. Um, Appearance options, you can download different appearances, plugins, I have DivX and iTunes and all this other stuff. Uh, language defaulted to English. It's pretty much for the add-ons. And uh, this is just like a basic overview, so I'm just really showing you um, the bare bones of Th Thunderbird. So this is still hasn't... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, you have all the different options I would normally have under um, AOL's email service. And... I think for the last thing I'll show you is how to remove the email. Say if you don't want um, your email linked to Thunderbird anymore, what you want to do is right-click on the email, go down to Settings, and go down to Account Actions, and Remove Account. You'll hear that nice sound. Click OK. And my email is no longer linked to Thunderbird. So, guys, I'll, I'll probably be doing um, a little bit more advanced overlook of Thunderbird in the future. 
But if you guys like this video, feel free to like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.